connections from the vision we have for the living city. Uh, we have Mr. Matthew that kind of said uh, the man without a vision will perish. The mayor actually said uh, build it and they will come. So I both had uh, quite a bit of the moment there. <laughs> My question is, um, you see the, uh, the numbers of people coming on the Spirit and also to the airport. But what I've observed over the years is that people have come off the uh, spirit and then do a direct uh, left-hand turn to Launceston or a right-hand turn to Burnie. And the Bass Highway actually acts as a bypass of the CBD. Uh, so I was wondering what plan has council got to uh, maybe educate the people on the spirit and even the people coming into the airport that we do and we'll have such a vibrant uh, CBD and they should make it their first port of call uh, before they continue on anywhere else. Thank you. Um, just in relation to part of that is we understand that that happens now, so we're very conscious of that. And, and part of the thinking when this was being done was what can we actually do to capture people's attention as they're coming in on the spirit? And, and I'm not sure if you saw, but part of the big thing that was on here was that walkway that sort of goes out and around the, the sort of the frontage of the river. It was trying to identify something that would actually um, people could look at and say, "Yep, that looks interesting. Yes, there's something over there that we want to go and see." So it was, it's a matter of trying to um, have something that is clearly visible for those that are coming in on the ship so that they can see something that might catch their eye and then therefore they might come over. In addition to the visibility of it, it's also then about promoting things like the, the marketplace that's there as well and, and certainly having um, fresh produce, whether it's the tuna produce, whether it's the, the vegetables, whether it's the berries, whatever it might be having that available for people to actually take back on the ship because you'd be aware that whilst people can't bring a lot of that produce into Tassie, they can certainly take it out with them. So there's certainly a lot of capacity there, um, but it is about promoting it and getting it out there and getting it known. Some of it's got to be visual, some of it will be through other means as it goes forward as well.